everybody was after their pick and uh, they could win by making a field goal. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. So on second down, they just took a knee. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm glad they did, though. I didn't realize that. What would you take away from last year's bowl game, not being able to play it, but you're on the sideline that you used in this game? After last year's bowl game, I just told myself I was going to dedicate to try to be the best. Dedicate all my time and energy into school and football and try to be the best that I can be. And I haven't lived up to my potential in my eyes, so I still got a lot of work to do. Where would you say that this game you know, ranks in games you've played here at Michigan State? Number one. First time I ever get a chance to play in the ball game. My first one ever. It's just number one. First bowl win under Coach D's era. It's crazy. History making team two years in a row. 11 win season. It's just, it's just number one win for me. Well, well, Michigan is kind of number one. It's like one and a half, right behind Michigan. Well, how about Anthony Rashad White? I mean, he wanted to have a big game. This kind of sets him up really well for next year, doesn't it? Definitely, man. Y'all see that vertical? <laughs> he blocked the field. He had a really made a lot of plays, you know. Pig went down and he stepped up. Like, both our senior D tackles went down and he stepped up. You know, proud of him. Is that what you guys saw from him in the spring before he got injured in the during the season? He was really balling out during the spring ball. You know, we, that's, we knew he was a playmaker coming into the season. Uh, like mostly the whole defensive line, except for Jarrell's spot, had a slash and it was coach starters all across the board. And that really showed why. A lot of SEC teams recruited you. How did it feel to play against one? I feel great. I wish I could have played against, you know, Alabama last year. That was, that was crazy for me to watch that game and not be able to play. But it's great, you know. Got a chance to go Big Ten against SEC, and we Big Ten over, you know, we came up. What was the toughest part? I mean, going against this opponent compared to someone in the Big Ten, was there any adjustment? I mean, no. They were uh, similar to a lot of Big Ten teams we played before, you know. We actually had a couple more days to practice. We usually only get like four or five days to practice as a team, and we got 15, so our defense was ready. We was ready to eat. And everybody ate. During the game, you would hold your hands out in the huddle, and oh, that's the bowl. You know, you got you got to get in there for the bowl. That's that's the plays. Everybody got to eat. You know, so like, eat it up, eat it up, eat it up, eat it up. Is that something you've always did, or where does it come from? Playmaker say, got to eat, <laughs> got to eat. If you're on defense, you got to eat. You want the ball, you got to be hungry. You got to want. You gotta, yeah, I didn't get too excited. You got to want. The ball. I want to take it away. And parts of it you were feeding your teammates. Well, what's that about? They got to eat too. I can't be the only one to eat. It's an 11 man game. You got to do it. William, we, we, we talked to you a little bit earlier in the week. It seemed like you were real quiet. Were you buying into the focus that D'Antoni was selling you? Because when you got on the field today, it looked like they just couldn't stop you. Yeah, man, I listen to everything Coach D'Antoni was telling me. That's one of the biggest role models I got right now is Coach D. And I respect everything that he says. And he said, focus up. Focused up, read the game plan. I read the game plan and practiced hard, and I came out and showed. It felt, felt like you were living in the backfield today. Was you, did you see something in a matchup, or was there somebody that you were taking advantage of? What was working so well for you today? Had a great defensive coordinator, you know. The game plan was sick. Everybody made a stop in the backfield. They said 15 times for loss. And then yeah. last, and then last one. I got to ask you about this. Antonio walked out of the press conference with the Muhammad Ali speech. Is that something you guys asked him to do, or yeah, if he was doing something new? He chopped down some trees, wrestled out. Yeah. You know, he did all that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Thanks, boy. Who actually wrestled the alligator? Oh man, this one guy. That was crazy. He really went to wrestle the alligator. That was nuts. He got bit though, but kept going. Got it. You kind of dedicated the season to your grandmother. I mean, walking away from today, I mean. I got really emotional at the end of the game. I did dedicate this to my grandma. I didn't play last time in my last bowl game. So she really couldn't watch me play. She watched the game, but she, didn't, like, she couldn't watch me play. So, you know. And it wasn't too far from today that she passed away. You know, a few days away Towards the end of the game, I mean, you said you're a little down, but you got that, you know, critical sack. I mean, how much do you think thinking about her kind of factored in get, getting after the quarterback right there? I knew she was watching. I don't know how I got that sack. I'm just going to give it to her. Yeah. I'd rather not talk about it. How would you evaluate your performance overall today? 
B plus. What? I didn't score when I scooped it. I was trying to try to put a move on them, but you know, it doesn't work. Too heavy now. Too, 280 is a lot of weight to try to juke. So, yeah. How'd it feel when you got the ball in your hands? I was like, touchdown, let's go. I didn't even pick it up with two hands. I was shocked that they didn't yell at me because of that. I looked down at the ball, grabbed it, and turned and tried to go. But yeah, they didn't get it. It was, it was fun. What's next for you, Will? Winter condition. <laughs> Winter condition. Ooh -wee. Yeah, boy. Well, we're going to celebrate this win. Then, uh, go ahead. Thank you very much.